Okay, this is a bonus lesson. I got a request from Mason to do a sloth. I painted one the other day. So here's what the final product looks like. It's a sloth hanging in a tree. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw it and then we're gonna paint it. Okay, so I do have an outline on my paper but I'm going to draw with a pen so that you can see and you can draw along and then we'll paint it at the end. So the first thing that we're gonna start with are the eyes. And my sloth has two round eyes, and they're not even, unless you want them to be even. I have one, because he's kind of hanging from a tree, so his head's a little crooked. So he has two round eyes. And then, around in between his eyes look you can fit i can fit my finger with a little bit of space on both sides we have his nose and it looks kind of like a u it curves around like this and then it curves back up but notice the top of the nose is kind of even with the top of the eyes and we're going to do a little bit of a u inside there because it's going to get lighter. It's darker down here at the end and lighter up here at the top. So we just want to put a line there. Also, this, we're going to put a little line like this because this part's going to be black when we paint it. And then we're going to make two nostrils. Now, if you're using a pencil, you can color them in. If you're using a pen, you can color them in with um, black. And then we're going to make a circle around each one. Okay, it may look funny right now, but it'll look good when we're done. Okay, and underneath that, we're gonna have his little mouth. It just goes up kind of in the middle. Looks a little bit like a mustache, actually. And then around the eyes, because sloths have really dark faces, we're gonna do like a circle that comes down around one eye, and you're gonna do the same kind of thing circle around with like a tail and it curves in like that okay and this one we're gonna and when we paint it you'll see what what happens there now outside we're gonna draw the head so down here it's a circle it goes around all the way around And I didn't close my circle at the bottom, but you can if you want to. Now on this sloth, it's lighter in the middle and darker on the edge. So we're gonna just do like a little zigzag line because that's gonna tell us when we paint, this part's darker, this part's lighter in the middle. Um, and the same thing, his chin with some little darker spots right there. And then we're gonna do his arm comes from the side of his head all the way down and they have very long arms like this and then his hand curves around like that so that's one arm on the inside you're gonna start not up at his chin so leave about three fingers and curve down now I don't curve all the way to the other part of his hand because we want to be able to put in his claws. And then this part we're gonna put in because we're gonna make that a little bit darker. Same thing up here. He's got some darker fur right there and maybe a little bit right there. Okay, so now we have his arm. Now he has a big round body, sticks out, connects his head to his arm down here. And then he has a leg that goes up like this. Now I'm not drawing the whole thing because we're gonna put some leaves over there and we'll make the leg um, disappear. Also underneath his chin is darker, so we're gonna just mark this where we're gonna paint it a little bit darker. And the same thing down here, because he's curved and he's round, so the bottom part is gonna be darker than the, than the belly. Now his arm hangs from the tree, 
and I am going to take it all the way to the top of the page. Now I stopped here because I'm going to add a leaf in there. And this one goes up. There's his arm. <clears throat> okay. Now we're going to go back and put in some of the leaves. Now he's hanging in a jungle and his leaves, the they're kind of viney leaves and they hang down. So we're going to just pretend that they are all kind of hanging down, pointing down towards the bottom of the page. In long, skinny strips. And you just can take it down as far as you want. And this one's going to come out from behind him. And the leaves don't have to be exactly like mine, they just go down the page. And same here. So here's my These leaves come out from behind him. Okay, now because I drew pencil first, well, I'm not going to worry about it. We are going to paint his eyes first. Now I'm going to use a very tiny paintbrush. If you don't want to use a paintbrush, you can use a black pen. You are going to leave a tiny bit of white in the middle because there's reflection like that and around you want to use some leave some white as a reflection like that okay we're also going to do you already did those we're going to do the line across the top of his nose and along here and you're going to paint the nose black now we want it to get lighter as we go away so we're going to dip our brush in the water and take the black off and then we're going to just make it gray as we go up grayer. We don't even need to add paint when we do that. That didn't even get grayer. So if it doesn't get lighter, we're going to just take some of that paint off. There it is. Yeah, it got lighter. Okay, now we're going to use brown to make the darker lines here. Around his and I'm actually going to add just a tiny bit of black to make it even a little bit darker but you don't want too much black or it will get um, too dark like that so. and you spread that around okay then I'm going to do this part dark. And when I make his belly, I want it to kind of curve around so that you can see that he's got a round belly right there. And then we want dark, oh, that's too dark. Here, mix the black and the brown together. That's a little bit too much black, so let's take some of that out, put some more brown in there. And a dark right here. Like 
Okay. There's a lot of paint right there, so I can just use that for dark underneath his chin. Okay. And some more under there, because we're going to do that dark, too. Okay, he has his arm that goes like this, too. Now, sloths sometimes have a yellowish, greenish tint to them, because they live in the rainforest, and they have algae that kind of grows on their um, fur. So I'm going to mix in my water color brown and green and yellow to get kind of a, brown, a lighter brown. And then we're going to put it on top of that and spread it around with some water to make it a little bit lighter. And you kind of want your brush strokes to go the way his um, belly goes. And notice that I'm lighter on the edges. So we fill in and we leave it dark in some spots right like that and lighter in the other spots. Curve in and around to make it look like his. Now, remember I said that on his face, that's lighter too, so we want to make sure that we don't use too much dark brown on that because we want it to be, this is pretty dark, but we want this to be pretty light. So we're going to paint around on his face and make sure it looks kind of like a circle, our strokes, so that we can see that he has this round face. And we're going to paint around those eye. Oops. Blood, blood. There. Okay, you can always go back and fill in the white spots that. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to have to go back and paint his leg back here. In between the, the leaves. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. Because his leg goes up underneath those, those leaves like that. Same with this one. Okay, now we're gonna let the, the sloth dry a bit and we'll go do the leaves because we don't wanna paint the face if it's too wet because the black will bleed into these other areas and we don't really want black all over. Okay, so now we're gonna go back and paint our leaves. So we want different color greens because not all the leaves are the same color. So I'm just gonna use yellow and light green and and you can mix the yellow and the green to make different color greens. And you can just 
just paint them in however you want. This part isn't an exact science because we're going to blend it all out once we finish painting it. And I'm going to show you that in just a sec. Okay, so I just paint all my leaves in however you want. Okay, so I'm just going to do this real fast. You can take your time. You are welcome to stop this at any time if, if I'm going too fast for you to catch up. Okay. it when my leaves are not all the same color because in nature they're not really all the same color but if you want to paint them all the same color <clears throat> that's totally fine Okay, <clears throat> now what we're going to do, because we want to kind of um, blend some of these together to make a background, we're going to just take water on our brush and we're going to mess them all up to kind of fill in and make it look a little bit like there's more green in the background. I might even add a little bit of yellow in some of these spots. And if you get a little bit of green on your, it's totally fine, you just blend it out. take my background all the way to the edge because that's you don't need to do that unless you really want to okay so I blended that out and it looks like he's hanging in a jungle okay so he also has we need to paint a very light color and I'm just gonna do some yellow very light on his claws like that. Now, if the face is dry, we can go back with our black and paint around the eyes. Now we don't want to go all the we kind of want to leave a little white line right along the edge. Otherwise the eyes will disappear and they won't look like they're kind of popping out. So I'm leaving a little bit of a white line around his eyes that we already did and then I'm gonna blend this out 
at the bottom here. Okay. So you want to make sure we don't have too much water when we do that because otherwise it will start spreading all over your paper. And this might be easier if you're using crayons or color pencils, but um, okay. Okay, now my mouth is getting a little bit dark there, so I'm gonna put some brown in. And then I might even add some yellow because we wanna Okay, the other thing that you wanna do and you want to do this with not very much color. You want to do a tiny bit of gray because this is too white around his nose. So we want to tone it down a bit, a little bit of gray, just so that it's not quite so dark. And I'm going to put a little bit of gray around his mouth underneath. Okay, I'm adding a little bit more dark there and a little bit of dark underneath his chin because when animals are looking like that, they have shadows under their heads, which means it's darker where the shadow is. So to make it look like that, you have to add more color. Same down here. This is the bottom of him, so you need to have it darker so that it looks like a shadow underneath. shadows wherever you want but there you go there's our sloth and that's for you Mason all right